Hello traders and welcome back to this channel. Remember last week we analyzed Euro USD and I told you that I was expecting lower prices from the lower portion of this inversion fair value gap. This fair value gap here. You can see it that I was expecting price to fall from the lower portion of this inversion fair value gap. I I gave a space to price that it can actually trade up, but my major focus was to see it fall from the lower portion of this inversion fair value gap. This was what we outlined, and you can see how it delivered perfectly. If you've not seen the video, is it was uploaded on this YouTube channel last week. Last week, I think around September third. It was around last week Sunday, and I, I, I uploaded it. It has been there since last week. Then this candle had not formed. And we saw how nicely price delivered. Although our objective is not yet made. So entering this week now, we'll be expecting price to take out this loop. This is where I believe sell side liquidity risk now. Let me draw your attention to that, please. Sorry, that was a mistake. Okay. Currently, this is where I believe sell side liquidity rest. What do I mean by that? I want price to continue to trade lower and to take out the liquidity resting below the snow. That is what I'm looking for based on the weekly time frame. So if this candle should form now, I think later in the day, with this today is, today is Sunday already, so later into the night, according to Nigeria time, we'll have um, the weekly can to come up, a new weekly can to come up. And once it comes up, I want to see something like this. Price trade up to create the Judas swing. If you are familiar with ICT's concept, you understand what Judas swing is. So I'll anticipate price to trade up a little or at the speed. I want to see that um, around Monday, um, Tuesday, usually most times we usually get the highs of the week. On Tuesday, Monday, Tuesdays, majorly on Tuesdays. So I will anticipate a high to form. And then once the lower prices begin, I want to see it come for this consequent encroachment. That's the midpoint of this week here. The discount portion of the longer candle here, the week. That's the midpoint of week. I will expect price to draw to the midpoint of it. Then I will like to see price trade through it and into the sell side liquidity basically that's what i am looking for for this week so this is not complicated this is not random this is based on sound logic in case you are not subscribed to this channel please do well to hit the subscribe button and please try to like this video i'm based on the daily time frame i don't want to see price trading higher above this shaded point again. I can see that price is already heavy, reacting from an important inversion fair value gap here. If I take you back, you see it. It's very tiny, but it's crucial to me. It's important to me. So I want to see price stay below this inversion fair value gap. And then trade down, this is on based on an intraday perspective, We'll be looking for this sell side, this low here. That's um, last Thursday's low. There's liquidity resting below that low here. That's swing there. I want to see it trade through it. And then continue trading lower. This is the consequent encroachment from the weekly time frame. You can see it's marked here, W1CE. That C it stands for consequent encroachment. I want to see it trade lower and down to the sell side liquidity here. And very fast, I want to take our attention to the DXY dollar. It's very important. DXY. Okay, what do we have here? Um... Something I want to draw to your attention when it comes to analyzing dollar is that anytime you see DXY dollar moving higher just this way, expect um, lower prices in pairs like EURUSD, GBPUSD. 
that's the correlation. Anytime there is a risk off, then we should be expecting lower prices in Euro USD, um, GBP USDs, and foreign currencies. But anytime there is um, there is lower prices in dollar, expect USD, GPP, USDs, and all those foreign currencies to rise. So that is the risk of risk on scenario. Currently, we have risk of scenario on on dollar. So this is to validate our expectation in Euro, USD, our lower expectation. So this is a validation of it. So I want to draw attention to something very crucial here. All right, look at this. Look at this. Look at this fair value gap. Look at this buy sell liquidity resting here. But first of all, I want to pay your attention to I want you to pay attention to this fair value gap here. We have in the lower portion, the higher portion, and the midpoint. So let's go back. Let's go back. Look at how perfect price delivered there. See how it first traded into the midpoint, the consequent encroachment of the fair value gap. We had a reaction from there. And then price, if you go to the lower time frame, you see that there is a little consolidation around here. And then price was able to trade above it and see where it stopped. These things are not random. See where it stopped. It stopped at the higher portion of the fair value gap. This is not random. This is how our Gory do deliver price. If you can understand some of these concepts, you'll be able to navigate price in 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 a way you you don't think it's possible so we are expecting this buy side to be taken we are seeing this gap here this liquidity void here that guide that this gap is very important we want to see price stay above this gap we want to see major volume of the price stay above this gap so we have a fair value gap here i don't think price may likely revisit this fair value gap before it continues and ways our aim on this particular on dollar okay possibly we want to see it feel this completely we have a liquidity void here we want to see a completion of it we want to see price feel it completely I think that is possible this week That is possible this week. Usually when we have a gap like this, it is called an inefficient price delivery. So price will likely come to fill it up completely. So we only traded to the lower portion. So it is possible for price as euro is going down, euro USD is going down, we'll be expecting um, the dollar to continue coming higher and to fill this gap completely, this liquidity void, we want to see a complete closure of that. And if it becomes very excited, then we start looking for for this buy side liquidity. So basically, this is these are the things I'm looking for. There's no complication. We are expecting higher prices in dollar, lower prices in foreign currencies. All right, this is it. I don't want to keep the video too long. I think it's up to four or five minutes already. I hope this was insightful. If it was, please do well to hit the like button. Do well to subscribe to this channel.